morning, y'all. It's Kara. We are going to do a um, mat workout today. No toys, no props. You and the mat where the floor carpeted or mat is going to be a little nicer on your back. If you have any injuries, issues, conditions, concerns, I'll probably say this all again because I started a few seconds early. <laughs> if you have any injuries in your body, please honor your body. Again, just you and the mat today, no special toys and props. If you've got head and neck stuff going on, some of the stuff you're going to need to keep your head and shoulders down. That's okay. You'll still work your core. If you've got some low back or this stuff articulating and rolling through the spine may not be for you. I'll give you options, but you can always just hold a balanced position. Knee issues, there's a couple moves we're kneeling. If they don't work for you, then you can do them laying on your side or um, take a pause. Okay? So we're going to get started. Um, I want you to start in a four-point kneel for me today. Okay? So if you guys will join me in that quadruped position, or as if we're about to crawl. Okay? And what I want to start with is just an awareness of your breath. Okay? So as you take a big breath in, feel your rib cage expand. And then let it out and feel it kind of shrink back together. Inhale, posterior lateral rib cage breathing and let it back in. Do that a couple more times. Just a big breath in and release. Now as you breathe in, I want you to protract your shoulders. So you're just going to push a little bit away from the floor. Just open your shoulder blades a little bit. And then as you exhale, retract your shoulder blades. Let it come back down. Inhale, draw your abdominals <clears throat> in. Breathe into those ribs. Retract your shoulders as you exhale. So nice and slow. Breathe in. Exhale and release. So keep that breathing, keep your belly drawn in, and just that little scapular movement. So important that we have that control. Okay, now hold that there. And I want you to give me a little imprint and release of your pelvis, which means I'm just rounding, lengthening my low back, curling my tailbone under just a little bit, and then lengthening it back out. It's not a big movement, it's just a long extension and flexion of that spine. So I want you to take a long flexion as you curl the tailbone under, feel the glutes and the abs working, hamstrings too, and release it back. That's the same position we want when we're laying on our back. But right now we're doing it against gravity instead of with gravity. So there's a little imprint. Now, from here, I want you to do a little wag your tail, okay? So we're gonna go right hip to right elbow, center, left hip to left elbow. Just mobilizing that spine a little bit. You shouldn't have a ton of weight on your wrist. You can make little cupcake fingers if you feel like your wrist needs a little release. Or you could roll up your mat or towel under your hand to have your wrist a little more neutral. One more time each side. It should feel kind of good. Just mobilizing there. All right. And then from here, let's go right into our cat stretch. Cat cat. So right now we start in that quadruped position. Head is long. Spine is in a little bit of extension. And then we're going to nod our chin, roll through our spine, peeling up. So you look like that mad Halloween cat. And then start by lengthening the hamstrings, which extends the tailbone out. And then articulate bone by bone by bone. So you're looking towards the end of your mat. Curl back up there again. Initiate head to tail, pulling your abs in as you push away from your mat. And then lengthen back out. Your head extends long, but don't just throw it back like a tennis dispenser. Keep your head in line with thoracic. One more time like that. Peel it up. Rounding, rounding, rounding. Feeling that nice stretch. And then lengthen it back out. All right. We are going to go onto our back. So if you'll swivel around so your feet are on the mat. We're going to start um, with our hundred. So if you guys will... Roll yourself down to the mat. Lengthen everything long. Arms overhead. If you need this nicer, bring your legs to tabletop. I'm going to cue the full expression of the move. So we're going to zip up that belly. Maybe that little imprint. Again, bend your knees if you need this nicer. Otherwise, as you take a big exhale, I want you to lift your feet up off of the mat, zipping them together, and head and chest curl up. Ready? Exhale. Curl up, long and low. Now pump your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, twenty. Your seat 
muscles should be active. Breathe in. Hold those legs wherever you can stay out of your back. Halfway. Breathe in. Concentrate on those muscles active as you pump your arms and fill your lungs. Two more. Lower your legs back down. All right. So from here, I want you to pull those abdominals in. Bring one leg to tabletop and then the other. Press your hands into the mat. And give me a little toe tap. A little toe tap. So just moving from your seat. Your knee angle stays the same. The hundreds might have got you warm from the inside out, right? <laughs> I already broke a little bit of a sweat. One more time. Both legs to tabletop. Rock yourself up to seated. Keep your knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Hands reach forward if you can. You can always grab behind your thighs, right? Shoulders back and down. We're going to do our half roll back. So we're going to curl the tailbone under, roll halfway back, and then sit back up. Those of you that the rolling isn't okay with, you can hinge. Remember, that's always okay. Otherwise, we push those heels down, roll it halfway back, sit back up top. Do that again. Roll it back, hold, sit back up top. You're breathing, right? Inhale, stay, exhale, back up. Okay, we're gonna add a little rotation to this. As you roll back, I want your hands to rotate to the outside of your right knee. And then sit back up top. This time go left. Roll back and rotate. And bring it back up. Again, roll back, rotate. Bring it back up, the other side. One more time, each side. Roll back, breathe to stay. Bring it back up, roll it back, breathe in to stay, exhale, bring it back up. Okay, let's see if we can roll all the way back. You may stick with a half roll back, okay? So we're gonna roll back, bone by bone, lengthening, slow, push your heels into the mat. Reach overhead, legs long if you can, we're gonna try to roll up. Again, if this doesn't work for you, go back to those half roll backs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you want to imprint those feet into your mat and roll your spine up. And reach over your toes. And then continue the movement fluidly. Roll it back. Control, control, control. Concentrate. Breathe. Find your muscles. Roll it back with control. We're going to do one more of those. Pull the belly in as you reach. We're going to roll down and stay. Roll it back and stay. Once you're down, head and shoulders down. Bring your right leg to tabletop. Square hips and shoulders. Straighten the leg up to the sky. Goal, both sides of the waist stay the same, so we're not hip hiking. One leg circle. You can trace a tennis ball, a volleyball, or a beach ball. Whatever works for you. Ready? Keep the hips. Relatively still, abs drawing in, go across your body, down, around, up, pause. Five more. One more in this direction. Pause at the top. Now go away from your body, down to the floor, up and around. Push that other heel into the mat. Three more. Pause, bend the leg, find the floor, slide that leg out. Slide your other foot in and bring it up to tabletop and send it up to the sky. Tighten up those abs, go cross your body first. Inhale as you start to move, exhale, pause at the top. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Pause at the top, go the other way. Away from the body, down across the midline and up. Last one, pause at the top, bend the knee, slide it down along the mat. 
All right, from here, you can either roll up or um, rock yourself up. So from here, take a big inhale, and you're gonna bring yourself up to a seated. And then bring it up. All right, I want you to scooch towards the toe end of your mat. We're gonna either roll like a ball or hold the balance position, okay? So I want you to grab your outside of your ankles or your feet, or, or you can hug behind your knees if you need to be a little bit nicer. We're going to find back edge assistance. So just find that little roll of back position. Pull your belly in and then hover your feet off the mat. Okay? We're going to round our body into a C shape. Roll back to just shoulder blades and come back up to this balance position. If your spine says no thanks to the rolling, just hold right here. Okay? Otherwise, we're going to do four. Take a breath and then go. Roll back. Pause. Roll back. into your arms helps. One more. Find your balance. Hold. <laughs> and then feet can come down. All right. From there, we're going to go right into our single leg stretch and double leg stretch. So we're going to roll back right into it. So as you roll back, bring your legs up to tabletop. Stay curled up with your head and chest if you can. Otherwise, remember, you can take it down. Outside of, of right ankle, inside of right knee. Left leg reaches long. Now we're gonna pull and switch. Straight ahead, single leg stretch. Pull it in. I get right between your toes, your feet are like they're on train track little shoes. Pause, bring both legs to tabletop. Lower head and shoulders for a moment. All right, double leg stretches next. Arms reach overhead in circle. Legs just go in and out. On your exhale, curl your head and chest up. Find that nice neutral spine or slightly imprinted. Inhale, arms and legs go away. Exhale, scoop it back in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. One more. Hold right here. Hands behind your head, legs straight up to the sky. Kiss your heels together, find your Pilates stance. Shoulder blades are just hovering off the mat. Lower your legs towards the floor. Exhale, scoop them up. Two more. And then bend your legs to tabletop. Hands stay behind your head. Crisscross obliques. Rotate toward the bent knee. Come through center. Rotate the other way. So we're shooting one leg out straight. The back and pelvis, low back and pelvis, are staying pretty still. We're rotating the rib cage. Ring out your waist. Like it's the kitchen sponge and you gotta get every last drop out of there. So then we wipe you up after class. One more time, you side twist, twist and rest it all the way down. All right, we're gonna rock or roll or peel yourself back up. So we're gonna come back up to seated. So whichever way you wanna get there. Sit up nice and tall. Sometimes you gotta wiggle a little side to side to make sure the flesh is a little bit out of the way. Spine stretch forward. So legs are straight out, dorsiflex, meaning toes to the sky, and arms are in that sleep walk Frankenstein position, right? We're going to round our spine. Pelvis stays pretty vertical as you reach over your toes. How far can you reach and pull your belly and lengthen your back? And then slide shoulder blades down. Stack back up. So our abs do the work there. Our back extensors do the way back. We're going to do that three more times. And then re-stack. Again, reach forward. Pull your abs in. And then reset your spine. Reach for it. Pull your belly in. Reach, reach, reach. And stack it up tall. All right. We're going to do what's called open leg rocker or the prep. Okay? So this one is a straddled position. You can bring your legs to a wide tabletop or extend them up. So it's much like we did with rolling like a ball. 
but we're in a little bit of an open leg, right? Pushing your legs into your hands is how you find that balance. And then we roll back and we come up and find that balance. Bend in your knees if you need to. Again, just hold the position. Okay, let's try three more of those. Roll back. Roll up, find your abs. Again, roll back. Push and pull. Sometimes you have to bend your knees. Yep. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And then bring your feet down. All right. Straddling those legs. So now they're the width of the mat instead of more together. We're going to go right into our saw. So reach your arms out to the side. And we're going to twist and then forward fold. So I'm going to twist to my left first. And then my right hand reaches towards my left pinky toe, flexing forward. Rebuilding my spine, rotate through center to the other side, and I'm going to flex forward. Restack, come to center. Rotate, flex it forward, pull it up, twist to the second side. Reach, restack, rotate, reach forward, restack one more. Reach, and up. All right, we're going to our belly. So. From here, roll yourself over. We're gonna start with swan. Swan, prep to swan, to swan dive. You get to pick your level. I'll demo all three. And um, so start with your legs apart, active. You can turn out a little bit if you need a little more SI support. Otherwise, try to get inner thighs kind of pulled up to the ceiling, okay? Hands by your shoulders, basic swan first. We wanna zip up our belly. Like there's that hot coal under it, don't get burned, okay? Press into your hands, slide shoulder blades down, kind of headlong, just come up to your forearms, pushing those forearms into the mat, and then controlling your way down. Okay, that's our basic swan, I'll do that one more time. Press it down, so it's kind of our just little swan prep, baby swan, some call it, and then bring it down. If that's enough for your back, stay there. I'm gonna go to the full one this time. So slide your shoulder blades down, same way, but now I'm going to extend my arms all the way and come up into a higher squat. Try to stay out of your low back, pull your belly in, squeeze your booty. Control your way back down. Coming up to that full squat if it's appropriate for you. Staying here, right into our squat dive. As I bend my elbows, my legs are going to come with me like a rocking chair. If you want a little more, you reach and catch. Reach and catch. Two more. Reach and catch. Reach, catch, and bring it back down. Time for a single leg kick. You can either make a little stacked hand pillow for your forehead and then get strong in your shoulders and your belly and hold that. Or you can come up into a that kind of swan prep, but pull the pelvis under a little bit. And it's almost like you're in a little plank from your pubic bones to your forearms. So again, either up or you can come down. Crown of the head reaching long, either way, strong shoulder. Single leg kick, so right leg is gonna go kick, kick, reach, then left, pull, pull, reach. So it's kick, kick, reach. Find hamstrings. You can go point, flex, reach if your brain will let you do two things at once. Concentrate. Hamstring pull. Belly is lifted, breathe, reach. Again, pull, pull, reach, bring it all the way down. Double leg kick. We're going to put our hands behind our low back. You can have it up higher, find where it works for your shoulders. You can interlace your fingers or let them stay apart. They can be down lower if you need to. Head is turned to the side. Legs are together, active parallel. We're going to do three pulls and then come up into our extension. Okay, so it's three hamstring curls. Pull, two, three, and now we extend out, we look to the floor, and you can either keep your arms interlaced, or they can be out like Iron Man flying, right? And then bring it back down, turn your head the other way. Pull for three, two, one, reach it long, extend, come back to the first side. Three kicks, two, three, reach out into your extension, turn your head the other way, pull it in, three bends. Two, one, reach, extend. We're gonna do one more each side. Head to the first side, pull for three hamstring curls. And then lengthen everything 
reach long. Turn your head the other way, last time. Three, two, one. Extend and reach, reach, reach. And bring it down. Put your hands by your shoulders. Press back into that shell stretch. Kind of like that little child's pose. Breathe there for a moment. And now I want you to lift your sits bones off of your calves a little bit and pull your belly and push your hands down and feel a bigger stretch, a lengthening and opening. Should feel really good. I kind of want to stay there. And then bring it up. All right. Our next move is called neck pull or a prep to this. If you've got tight shoulders, hands to the forehead. Otherwise, hands can go behind your head. On the way up, I like them by my forehead because I can give myself a little assist. Okay, so this is like our roll up, but we have a hinge to start the move. So my legs are out long and active. Bend your knees a little bit if you need to. And we're going to hinge back. Hinge back, hinge back till you can't hold it anymore. And then roll your spine all the way down to the mat. And then again, your hands stay right here, forehead if you can. But if you need that assist on the roll up, you can reach. <laughs> Flex forward over your thighs. Restack, rebuild. Okay? Hinge back. Lean, 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 lean. Keep those heels digging into your mat. And then roll down to your back. And then right back up. Flex over your thighs. Restack, rebuild. Just one more of those. Hinge back, hinge back, hinge back, hinge back. Hold. And then roll it down. Come all the way up. Flex it up over your thighs. Restack your spine up top. Okay. Corkscrew is next. We're just going to do the corkscrew legs today. So roll yourself back down to the mat. Bring your legs up to tabletop. Get that spine nice and long. And then take your legs up to the ceiling. So I call this one the Texas U-turn. Your legs are going to move together. We're going to tip them to the side. You shifted the weight to the right cheek. They go down low around, up the left side, and pause at the top. And then we go the other way. Left side, down low, circling them back up to the top. Reverse directions each time you get to the top. To me, it's like the Texas service road. If you're, you don't know where you're at, Google's rerouting you. <laughs> you keep going around in circle. Has that not ever happened to you? <laughs> One more time each side. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. All right. Put your feet down. We're going to go right into our shoulder bridge. So we're going to tighten up our core, press our hands into the mat, and we're going to lift up in one piece. Feet are parallel. Hinge up. So we're in that draw bridge shape, right? Drop that back down. Okay? Press your feet into the mat. Lift it straight up and lower it down, okay? Now, hold this one up. Stay right there. Pressing strong. If you can, bring your right leg to tabletop and then all the way to the sky. Hold your body still as you pull that leg down towards the floor and lift it up. Both hip bones shining towards the ceiling. Pull that leg down and up. One more time. And then find the floor. Grab that heel in with your other one. Realign, make sure you're nice and square. Press into that mat. Left leg comes to tabletop and then up to the sky. Pull that heel down to the mat. Point that toe up to the sky. Like little paintbrush tools. And now bring it down. Find the mat. Pull it in. And your hips come down. All right, from here, we're going to do um, a scissor and bicycle in the air, okay? If that doesn't work for you, you can do the normal scissors and the bicycle pattern, keeping down here. So we're going to lift up into the bridge like you just did, and then put your hands under your pelvis. So I'm a little bit baby back bend to start with. Bring your right leg and your left leg to tabletop. You guys, the weight is on my elbows and upper arm. And I'm supporting my pelvis, so my hand's right on my pelvis, yeah? Straighten your legs up. Again, you can keep your back down on the mat like we normally do. 
and then give me your scissor and scissor and scissor. Stay broad across those collarbones. One more. Both legs up. Okay. Now our bicycle. Split the legs. Bend your bottom leg. Pull it towards you. Back to your split. Bottom leg bends. Pulls in to your split. One more. Right pulls in and splits. Left pulls in and splits. Both legs up to the sky. Hinge over your body a little bit and roll yourself back down. All right. Rock yourself up to seated. And we're going to do a little, just our spine twist. So reach those arms out to the side. Sit up nice and tall in your sister bones. Bend your knees if your hip flexors are tight. All right. And then give me a little twist. A little more. A little more. Inhale through center to the other side. And then release it a little bit and twist a little more. And back to the first side. One more each side. A twist. And a twist. Bring it back to center. All right. Roll or lay down on your right side. We're going to stay down long and low. I want your back and shoulders along the back of your mat. And then your legs come slightly forward. So a little hip flexion here to bring your feet forward. Stack them up. And then you can go down with a ear between your bicep and hand. You can support your head like this. Or if you want a little bit more challenge, you can give me the little golf key for the hand and both hands here. This will take a little more balance challenge. Find which one works for you. Okay, I'm gonna stay right here today. We're gonna lift the top leg and lower it. Just that up to hip height. Goal is long through your spine. Three, two, and one. Now. Bring it up here and give me a little side kick. So we kick, kick, pull. So flex your foot, two pulses forward, and then pull it behind you. So a little kick, kick, pull. Kick, kick, pull. Kick, kick, pull. One more. Kick, kick, pull. And then bring that leg down. Okay, we're gonna just do a little circle here. So again, strong through the core, whether you're up or down. Lift that leg up in line with your hip. And then give me eight little circles. From the hip. How long can you make that leg? Three, two, one. Reverse it for eight. Four, three, two, one. And lower down. All right. To your belly. Hands down. Forehead on your hands. Lengthen your legs out long. Belly lifted, heel beats right here. Eight little heel clicks like Dorothy and the Ruby Slippers trying to get home. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open pause. Do that again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. All right, normally I'll just roll you over to the other side for a flow. But I hate my backside to the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to flip over. All right. So on your other side, line your back and shoulders up the back half of your mat, your feet come a little forward. You can keep that head down, you can support it up a little bit, or you can come up onto your elbow and find that more challenged, balanced position. Okay, long through the waist, strong in the core. Top the leg lifts and lower. Just an abducted side lift. Lift and lower. Four. Rest it down a moment. Okay, our side kick is next. So lift that leg up and then we go kick, kick, pull. Kick, kick, pull. Three more. Kick and pull. Kick, pull. Long, strong spine. Now bring it there. Up. Eight circles. Reach long. Three, two, one. Pause, eight the other way. Reach that leg out of the hip socket. And then bring yourself to seated. 
Bend your knees. We're going right into some teasers. We'll start with the prep. So sit up, rock to that back edge of the sits bone. Reach your hands up. Bring your legs to tabletop. Can you straighten your leg? Ooh, try to open the heart <laughs> and bring it back down. We're going to do a little toe tap there, okay? So find back edge of sits bones, legs up. And then just bend your knee, tap your toes. Okay? Now, legs at tabletop. We're gonna roll down and roll up. Tabletop, roll your spine down. Reach overhead, see if you can come right back up to that. Ooh, tabletop, or straighten your legs. Okay? See if you can roll down, keep them straight or bent, whichever works for you. Roll it down. I'm going to tabletop as I come through. Oops. I should have bent my knees. <laughs> Bad example. It happens, right? Okay. If you want the full expression, we're going to bring the legs up to your teaser. Find your balance. And then roll it down. As you go through your low back, your legs and arms both reach long. And then as you go through back, lift your legs. Reach, reach, reach. Find it and sit all the way up and reach forward. Okay, bring your hands behind you. Palms are facing towards my hips and I'm gonna go onto my forearms with nice wide collarbones. Bring your legs to tabletop. Okay, this is hip twist. It's basically our corkscrew leg circles again, but in a little um, upright, like up position instead of down. So legs are up. And then we're going to circle them to the left, down, and to the top. And then go the other way. You will have a little transfer of weight from cheek to cheek. Find your abs yet? <laughs> I think so. Finish this one. And bend your knees. All right. From here, we're going to flip back over for our swimming. So on your belly, we're gonna reach out like Superman and then we're gonna right away start fluttering. I'm gonna try to count the 100 breath as we do this, okay? So hot pull, tap on your belly button. Reach everything long, find your little Superman. Keep looking at the ground, right? Now, opposite arm and leg flutter. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 10. 20, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Pull that belly in. Don't sink into your low back. Lengthen. Be the longest, strongest Superman you can be as you swim. Give me two more. Bring it back. Hands by your shoulders. Press back into your shell stretch again. Pull your belly in, reach your hips towards your heels, but don't collapse on your thighs or your backside. All right, we're going right into leg pull front. If you need to do this on your forearms, you may. We're stepping into our plank position. So shoulders strong, make sure you have that little bit of protraction. Reach your legs out long. Lift your right foot a little bit off the floor. Point your toe, shift back, flex your ankles, Bring it back in. Lift, point and shift, flex, bring it down. Alternating leg. Lift, point and shift, bring it back down. So that bottom leg is doing a little calf raise. One more time each side. Right lifts, point, shift, down. Left, point, shift, pull the leg down. And then lower your knees. From here, we're going to go to the other side. Again, you can go forearms, but if you can go onto your hands, you'll get the full expression of the leg pulled back. Opposite of what we just did in position. So it's that reverse plank position. So your hands can come back toward you if your wrist can handle that. Mine prefer them out a little bit. Legs are long and strong. Parallel if you have any tendency to hyperextend your knees or slightly rotate it out on the side of your foot if you don't do that hyperextension. Active quads, squeeze butt. Lift up, I gaze slightly forward, so you can see your toe. Three pulls with the right leg. Lift and lower, lift, lower, 
lift, lower, other leg, lift and lower. Put that foot down, other side again, strong those shoulders, and not to sink or let your shoulders hike up. Second side for three, we're doing three sets of three. If you can, one more, reach and pull, reach and pull. Other side, kick, pull it down, pull it down, hips come down, stretch forward like your spine stretch forward again, reach for your toes, and then pull your belly and shoulders back away from your feet. All right, we're going to swivel to our side, come up to a kneeling position, okay? Side kick kneeling, if you need to go down to your forearm or side line and get you can't. Take your right leg out to the side. We're parallel in a little straddle. Find a T with your arms, and we're gonna tip over to the side. Top hand behind your head. It's that same side kick again. A little different balance challenge here, right? So now we go kick, kick, pull. Kick, kick, pull. Strong in the body, everywhere. <laughs> pull it back. Kick, kick, pull. Kick. And then we're going to put that foot down, push into the foot, come all the way up. Switch your legs, tip over, same thing other side, hand behind your head. Long through the spine, strong the shoulders, kick, kick, pull. Kick, kick, pull. Kick, kick, pull. I'm dripping, y'all. <laughs> Trying to do the more traditional, original Pilates workout. Kick, kick. Pull for three. Last time, kick it, pull it, put that leg down, come all the way up. All right, kneeling, we're gonna thigh stretch here. So on both knees, reach your hands forward. This is a thigh stretch, we're gonna hinge back. Keep your bum tight and your belly tight. You're gonna stretch the quads and hip flexors. Lean back. Hinge back from the knees. Come back up. If your knees don't like this, skip it. <laughs> Hinge back. Lean back. Give a little stretch. Feel your core activate. Don't lose the butt or belly. Hinge back. Two more. Hinge back. This time, pull. Open your heart. Look up to the sky a little bit. And then bring it all the way back up. Okay? Last one. Option to add that little extension. Lean back to your side. Lift. Bring it up. And back. Pull those hands back behind you. Just open the front of the shoulders. And breathe. Okay, it's time for our side bend. So swivel, so sit sideways, okay? So you, you could go down and do, you could just do a basic little mermaid. This is the advanced mermaid, which is a side bend, kind of a plank to a side bend. So I have my bottom leg kind of tucked under. A prep for this would be make sure your shoulders line up with your um, hip and then you can just lift to right here, okay? We're gonna go all the way up to the feet if that works for you. Strong shoulder, keep it connected. And then that, legs extend, both feet down, zip your legs together, lift up to the sky, and bring it back down. One more like that. Lift it up, into that little side bend, bring it back down. I have an advanced version if you're up for it. If not, do two more of what we just did. Come up into your side bend, Open to the sky with your upper arm and heart, and then push back, my hand up sweaty, push back to a little thread the needle. Come back, lower down. One more of those if your hand isn't sweaty. So we come up to the side bend, and then open up to the sky, and then push back as you thread. Come back to your side bend, and bring it down. All right. Swivel to the other side. Again, that prep would just be coming to your knees, right? Otherwise, I'm going to do two full and then two with the advance. So up into your side bend. So it's pushing away from the floor, a little lateral flexion of the spine. Bring it back down. Okay? And then again, up and reach. Zip the thighs together. You're stuck between two panes of glass, right? 
and then bring it back down. Okay. I'm going to wipe my hand off first this time. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add the thread. So reach up to your side bend and then more neutral plank to open and then push back and wrap it. Come back to side bend, lower down. One more. Okay. Again, just holding the side bend this time. Up to the side bend. Open. And then push back as you thread through. Come back. Open. Oops, my mat moved. <laughs> and then bring it down. Dangerous. I have a mat on top of the slippery surface. All right. And there was our side bend or our advanced kneeling mermaid. Okay. On the home stretch, it's the Pilates push up. So normally you would roll all the way down. But I cut my head off. I'm tired of Pilates <laughs> video bloopers of headless carrot. So I'm going to walk out with my hands and find my plank position. Okay? Three push ups. Zip your body up. You determine the level. You can do this from your knees if you need to. Three push ups. Two. One. Now shift back to a pike. Down dog leg, right? That elephant upstretch position. Okay? So we're going to do it this way three times. Shift back to your toes, back to your plank. Three push ups. Three. Two, one, hold the plank, shift back, hips towards your heels, and that upstretch elephant shape, and bring it back. Ready? Last three push ups. Three, two, one, shift it back. From here, walk your feet in. One little step at a time. How close to your hands can you get your feet? It's going to depend on your range of motion and your mobility. And then maybe let go of the mat and hang. Breathe. And then you can roll up. I'm going to roll down. And um, that is the workout that I was planning for you today. There are more advanced Pilates moves in the mat repertoire, not all appropriate for when I can't see you. So that's the ones that I um, decided to do today. I hope that you're as drippy as me. And if not, if you watched, you were entertained by me. <laughs> Just kidding, sort of, kind of. Um, I've been doing a lot of this um, over the last two months, but I'm kind of over myself. <laughs> Have a great day.